Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. It's all changed this week. It's suddenly getting all earthy. It's all about our sense of security and grounding ourselves, but also enjoying life's sensual pleasures. We have the sun in Taurus, we have a new moon in Taurus, and then we have the sun and Uranus creating a change in what we view our security as. On top of that, we've got Pluto going retrograde. Here's your weekly astrology. Cancer, traditionally this is the week where you'd be, I'd be saying get out and about, it's time to socialise, the, the week of friendships, getting out there, joining forces with people, having strange coincidences when you do meet people. But do you know what? It's also very good for technology. So combine the two. Whatever you do this week, do try and hook up with new people, um, groups of people. Get your friends all together on Zoom and do a quiz or have a book club or have a, even better, have a new moon group. But you need to be around people this week and you need to reach out and you need to connect. But interestingly, this new moon is going to show you how to do that in new ways and also to let go of any groups of people that you found are not supporting you in this time where we're suddenly seeing who's important in our life, who we care about, who cares about us, you know. It's very, very interesting, but you are great this week at connecting with people online. Maybe that's not your normal thing. Maybe you prefer, as a Cancer, the nurturing one-to-one. -one. But this week you might surprise yourself because the Sun and Uranus are also getting together to bring about a fabulous surprise, an unexpected twist or turn that involves groups of people or, you know, crowds of some description. But you're very, very good at connecting to other people as well. You yourself are good at putting stuff out there, whether it's on social media, whether you want to join a charity or do something that involves you collaborating. All of that is fabulous for you this week. And also something unexpected is happening there, but you're gonna love it. So don't be a hermit this week. When you reach out, something good could come. We then have Pluto retrograde and it's in your relationship zone. Your idea of relationships and romantic relationships are changing this week, are shifting focus. And Pluto is really powerful when it comes to him going retrograde. So what needs to change in your relationships? What are you gonna see? What patterns do you need to let go of? All will be revealed, but relationships, one way or the other, are shifting this week, but not just literally how you feel about relationships. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hi, gorgeous, before you go, check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings, I don't do them anymore, but for over 20 years, I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly handpick. So check out the film, let me know what you think. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope, it's about guidance using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings, people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. 
Everything begins and ends with you.